to create dated daily planner sheets in Affinity Publisher in a quick way using Google Sheets and Data Merge. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creator B and welcome to our channel where we show you how to make money online with low content products like KDP low content books, printables and digital planners. So here I am in Google. I'm actually logged into my Google account because I want to create a brand new Google Sheets. So I'm going to use Google Sheets because it helps me quickly create different um, products like digital planners and printables and things like that and spreadsheets. You can be creating all of these and selling them. So in the URL bar, all I need to do to get to Google Sheets is type sheet and new and instantly it will open up a new Google Docs for me. So there's two things that I actually want to do inside Google Sheets. I want to actually put all my numbers in that I'm going to create because what I'm going to create is a daily uh, planning sheet that is dated. So what I want to call this is probably daily planning sheet. And from here, I can put a title, so date. And all I want is the date for the year that I'm doing. So say I was doing 24 or 25 or 26 or 27, I could do that. So all I need to do is type that in and then use this fill down effect. So you take your mouse across to that blue box there and then it becomes a black cross here and then you drag it down and I want to 366 because I've got an extra row there so I can just see what is happening. 366, let go and I can see that that is now the 31st of December 2023. Now that is a US style day. Most of the world uses it different with the day being here and the month being here instead. So I want it to be more a universal sort of date and style. So I'm going to go to format. I'm going to go to number and then I'm going to go to custom date and time. And then from here, you can select the different ones you want. So I actually want this one and you can change these around as well. So it is set to a US date with Google Sheets. It's much easier to change it in Excel, but you can actually delete these away and create your own uh, thing. So it's day, month, year, if you're in the rest of the world, or you can choose to do something like this, what I'm doing, which is setting it so that it tells me the day, the month, uh, the day, the year, and even here I can swap these around so that it would be Tuesday 5th of August so it is just a case of check, deleting them out and putting them in but I'm going to just stick with that for now and I can also expand my column out until we see all these but that doesn't really matter we don't we don't need to see it we're going to just do a data merge to bring that in but I also want to create another sheet because I want to actually create appointment times and instead of typing everything in in affinity what I can do is I can start off with the first one I want a second one because if I just did a fill down it wouldn't understand the pattern it would think I just want 555 but I want a pattern that goes from 5 a.m to 6 6 a.m 7 a.m so on until 11 uh, at night and it needs to maybe come down a bit more so I've got too many 11 p.m at night is 23 and I'm just going to delete that then the extra ones I've got delete those rows I'm going to hold that down and I'm actually going to increase the decimal place so it gives me those numbers so I'm going to copy so command c or control c and then I'm going to go to Affinity Publisher. This is version two. Most of the same things are the same. Um, notice that you can't see my screen, so I'm just going to adjust things so you can see all my screen. Okay, so I've changed my screen so you can see everything. So I'm in Affinity Publisher 
version 2. This is not 2.1 beta, it is the version 2 that's available to everyone who purchases it. So I want to set up a new document. I'm only going to use pages, I'm not going to use master pages for this. So I'm going to go file and new. Now I can choose different ones, I can choose A4 or I can choose letter. So if I were doing this for KDP and creating planners, then I'd probably choose letter. Um, or I might choose A4, especially if I'm doing it for the UK market or the rest of the world. But I'll stick with letter. I'm going to do facing pages. It doesn't matter if you're doing printables. Um, and it doesn't really matter if you're doing KDP, if you are doing these sorts of things. It's, it's If you're doing like a double spread, it's nice to see uh, facing pages. But I'll leave that as is. Colour, I'm going to leave as CMYK because it's printing rather than print, uh, digital. If I were doing a digital planner, I would change that to RGB8. And then margins, these are set for margins for um, KDP. So inner margin is 0.375 and outer margin is 0.25. And I'm not creating any bleed, although there is bleed on there. Um, let me just break that. And I'm going to change inner to that. So that is correct for bleed for KDP so, because there's no inner bleed. There's inner margins, but no inner bleed. So then I'm going to click create. And then what I want to do is I need to create a table. So I'm going to go back to Google and I can see I want a table with 19 rows. So I want 19 rows and two columns. So this is the table tool and then I start drawing out. It's telling me that I've got row one and column one and if I carry on now I've got two columns which is exactly what I want and I can see I've now got 11, 12, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19 rows and I'm just going to go to about there and then I'm going to make this a bit smaller because that's my times and then I'm going to just stretch it out to the bulk of my page. Now what I can do is instead of typing in five, six, seven, eight, I can just go to here and copy this. So Command C, Control C. Then I must make sure I click on the Move tool. If I don't click on the Move tool, this is what happens when I paste. So Command V or Control V, or you can do Edit and Paste or Right Click and Paste. So if I do Right Click and Paste, you can see it does that. I don't want that. I want them in separate ones. So if I do Control Z or Command Z, it'll undo that. But if I click on the Move tool and then just right click and paste, because my table is selected, that has brought everything into the right place. So I can edit all this. I can change the fonts. So I can go in and highlight those and I can put them in the center and I can put them again in the center align. I can change my font so it's a bit bigger. If that's what I want to choose, I can change my font style. Um, uh, get copper plate, quite like that style. I could even make it bold and again so it all stands out. Now what I could do is at the side here I could go along and add extra things like a uh, section for notes so I can choose a rectangle and put a section here where people can fill in little notes. And then I can have some more rows. Let's expand that a bit. I actually bring that down to 10. So I wouldn't mind them being the same size. A little bit more. So, so they're matching the same size sort of thing. Um, again, use the move tool and bring that up. And add an extra one. 
bring that down a bit. Move tool. Bring it down a bit. And then what I could do is text here that says notes. Text here that says to do. Text here that says schedule. And then what I now need is another text box where I'm going to actually put my date in. So I'm just going to go like that. And then what I want now is to go back here, back to sheet one, and click off it. And I'm going to download. So I go file, download, and I'm going to download it as a common separated values file or a .csv file. And then that should go into my downloads area, which I'll keep in there for the time being. And then again, I go back to Affinity, and this is where I'm going to use the data merge. Now, in Affinity Publisher version one, your data merge tool is under edit, so that's where you find it. But everything's moved to Windows, which seems to be a lot better. So I'm going to Windows and Data Manage Merge. Now, what I want is click on this little tag here that says add data merge source and I want this one here that's popped up and open so it's telling me it's delimited and it's quotes there and all records now what I need to do is I need to have the field window open so I go to window and I go to references and I go fields now if this doesn't pop up, and it has done for me, it's it's not popped up, I think it's some sort of bug. What I needed to do was go to Windows, go to Studio, and reset the Studio, and then suddenly it worked. So what we're looking for is this here where it says Date. I actually want that to go in that text file there, text box, not text file. So I'm just gonna double click on it, and it's done Dates there. And I'd like that to be more in the center. And I think I'll make that a bit bigger. And you can actually preview it by clicking preview there. So you can actually see that everything fits in. And now all I need to do is click generate. And it should generate me another file, which it has. And it's called that undated. And as you can see, that's Sunday, the 1st of January. If I double click here, that's the second one, third one, fourth one. And get all the way down until, say, here, 60 days in. We're at March, March 27th. So there we go. And that is how you quickly and easily create all these different ones here. Now, if you were going to export it for KDP, you would go File, Export. Then you would need it to be PDF. And you could do Flatten. You could put Include uh, Bleed. But what you've got to make sure is instead of All Spreads, you need to change this to All pages and then export it that way and that is perfect for kdp and i'd also do the same thing if i was doing it as printables for etsy or your own store so if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit the like button and if you enjoy these different videos don't forget to hit the subscribe button and while you're at it why don't you go and check out my digital planner playlist to show you how to create digital planners in affinity publisher version one there's not much difference there's just a lot of the stuff has now moved into windows